Hey everyone, thank you very much for tuning into AppVine. Today is May 19th. Hey everyone, thank you for tuning into AppVine. Today is Wednesday, May 19th, and today we're reviewing our first paid app. This is the Sketchbook Mobile. You can buy it in the App Store for $2.99. Here it is right there, kind of blurry. Anyways, uh, I'll take a we'll take a quick quick tour of it. And then I'm going to attempt to draw something with my not-so-awesome artistic skills. Alright, so it's a canvas. As you can see, you can draw on it, which I just drew a whole bunch of squiggles. I'm going to erase that. By the way, if you want to clear the whole, the whole layer that you're drawing on right now, you can just double, uh, double tap on the top left. And um, if you tap on this one right here, it's the menu. It's going to give you the functions of uh, of the uh, the sides here. It's also going to give you a whole bunch of options right here in the middle. It gives you a pen. Uh, there's the airbrush uh, brush. There's the color palette, which it gives you a whole bunch of colors over here. Let me go back here. If you want to undo something click on the menu and then bottom left that's going to be undo if you want to redo something it's bottom right all right um, also important thing to go through is uh, the layer system right here you can add up to six layers if you're on the uh, third generation iPod or the 3GS the iPhone 3GS all right what else do we need to go over here all right and brush brush sizes that's very important you know sometimes you need to increase the brush sizes oh you want to decrease it all right and this is actually the opacity so so it's going to be it's going to be the opacity is taken down a little bit and take the opacity back up and the size that's going to be on the side so if I want to make it a little bit bigger I'll take it up to a 3.8 there you go so you can see it changed a little bit so it's a little bigger right now airbrush very simple it just gives you the ability to airbrush something see right there so it's gonna start off light and then the more you draw over a certain area the darker it will become brush very simple alright what we do need to look at is the brush sets you can select different styles there's a whole bunch of brushes and fills and stuff and then you can edit the brush so And change the uh, the dimensions of of the tips. So I don't know if you can see that very well here. And then you can set the the maximum size opacity. And here's the spacing. So. If you want it all to be together, boom. Set the spacing to minimum, and if you want it to be far apart, set the spacing to maximum. All right, then. Let me see. Did I cover everything here? Layers. All right. If you want to add a layer, go to the layers, and then you can add a layer, merge layers, stuff like that. Alright, well, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attempt to draw something, see if this is any good. Alright, so I'm going to speed it up a little bit. So I won't be talking, but I'll definitely be drawing. So 
So this is kind of a, I don't know, some short doodle I did. I don't know what the hell is supposed to be, some sort of car or something, I don't know. Um, yeah, so, I mean, this took me no time. Uh, if I would have given him more effort then, if I didn't have to have a camera in front of me, basically between the phone and and me, then... It would have been a bit easier, maybe a little bit better. But here we go. And um, having having uh, used Photoshop before, you know, to do all sorts of airbrushing and speed paintings and whatnot, this is a superb app. It's four and a half out of five from me. Um, I uh, read some reviews where people said that this app is not worth it. It is worth it all and more. I would have probably paid around five dollars if I had to for this. Uh, this is definitely staying on my phone, and this is just an awesome app. Probably the one of the best apps that I've ever encountered so far. Yep, so this is just another review with AppVine. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll, uh, I'll uh, talk to you guys when you tune in tomorrow. Bye-bye.